Hello friends, followers and channel members, welcome to a very quick video here regarding the fly-by-wire aircraft in Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020. So, since the stable build was released, a couple of things have been brought to my attention from a lot of people that have been getting in touch telling me that they can no longer see their aircraft when flying and selecting it in Microsoft Flight Simulator. All the sounds are there and everything, but they're just getting uh, loaded into the airport, either on the runway or at the gate um, and the aircraft appears as a ghost uh, so we're gonna have a look at fixing that also the weights and balance pages of the experimental version and the developer build versions of the uh, aircraft has also changed as well so we're going to take a little look at that because this is quite important if you fly using Simbrief and you need to ensure that your aircraft is set correctly prior to takeoff otherwise you're going to have a couple of issues perhaps with a sluggish takeoff or your aircraft shooting up like a rocket which potentially could give you a angle of attack protection warning knocking your autopilot off and uh, getting toga lock shown on the FMA so let's go ahead and tackle the issue of your aircraft not displaying in the simulator so if you are having a problem with the A32NX not showing up, then what we need to do is go and check what is actually installed in your flight simulator. Not just in the community folder, but in the packages within the simulator itself. So if we go to the profile and then to the content manager, this then shows you a list of everything you've got currently installed within the simulator, be it through the simulator or the community folder. Best way to do this is search through your installed packages. So we'll just tick that and you can see everything is installed. There's currently 339 packages installed in my simulator at the moment. And the best thing to do is type in the search field and just uh, look for fly-by-wire. There we can see I have got just one item from fly-by-wire, the A32NX. The version currently installed is the 0 0.7.0 developer version, and that is installed in my community folder. And we can challenge that and see that there it is. This is my community folder and that's where it's installed. If you are showing more than one item here from fly-by-wire, the A32NX, then you need to delete it. You don't need to delete the community folder item because, of course, the way to delete that would be to actually remove it from your community folder in the, uh, in the Explorer view. Do not do this, however, whilst the simulator is still running. So if you've got more than one fly-by-wire package installed here in your content manager, then delete everything except the community folder version. If you're not sure, the best thing to do is to delete everything from fly-by-wire that is shown here, exit the simulator, and then delete the fly-by-wire from your community folder as well. So essentially, you will then have nothing showing from fly-by-wire. So once you've deleted any duplicate packages in your simulator, as I said, you can either then also clear out your community folder to make sure you haven't got any fly-by-wire package installed in there, and then use the fly-by-wire installer from the fly-by-wire website to install either the stable development or experimental versions. That then will put just the single A32NX folder in your community folder, which then when you launch the simulator should be working perfectly for you. One of the other things to have changed as well recently is the payload system of the fly-by-wire aircraft. And we're going to have a quick look at this just now. So I've created a quick operational flight plan through Simbrief, as we can see just here. And of course, as per usual, this shows you all of the weights that we're used to seeing. Let's just go ahead and pop this into the aircraft. So if we uh, focus on the McDo, we'll go to the Atsu menu, AOC menu and then the init press and we'll just load that in so a nice flight from uh, Basel to London Gatwick one hour and 11 minutes just clear the scratch pad and then we're going to go to the AOC menu and look at loading everything we need for this flight let's take a look then at the weight and balance page to see how this has changed so the block fuel tax fuel trip fuel etc that is exactly the same as it always was and we can double check this as well if I just minimize 
raise that a little bit so we can uh, get both on the screen here we can see that the block fuel 5782 matches up exactly now of course you can go ahead and load this directly from the McDo by hitting the refuel and load button uh, but to keep it a little bit more realistic with uh, fueling times I tend to on my live streams I use the fly pad as well and we usually always load a little bit of extra fuel as well in reserve but you don't have to uh, so if we go ahead and click the reload fuel we'll see that this changes the overall weight of the aircraft and you can see that as being shown up here so let's just go ahead and load that 5782 so that's now being loaded and we can also check as well if we come up you can see that that's loaded there 5780 so that's uh, obviously close enough let's just come down then and move on to the second page and this is the big change that's come in recently and has affected a few people that have been in touch with me as well regarding the overall center of gravity of the aircraft as well so let's go on to page two and here is the new look uh, weights and balance page for the passengers so they've now split up all of the loading points of the aircraft in order to load your passenger weights and get the payload as matched from the operational flight plan we press the OFP request button and once that's done let's just double check this so we've got a payload there of one 8096 and if we check up here we've got a payload here of 18038 now I haven't yet been able to work out why there's always a very slight discrepancy and strangely enough it always appears to be about 58 kilograms as well now this is using the flyby wire aircraft profile for Simbrief which there's a link in the video description for you to download so you can use this as well so the weights of course here are not that far off but it does mean of course if you check out that zero fuel weight you can see how there is a difference of 58 kilograms now once that's uh, all set and you're happy with it and you're aware of that slight difference that the aircraft is going to be slightly heavier than what's shown on the operational flight plan here uh, to load the aircraft you can then press the uh, boarding start button in the future fly by wire plan to have uh, passenger sounds as well so that's going to be quite neat when uh, when they become implemented that's just going to take a, a few seconds to load so we're just going to skip the loading process and fast forward that so there we go, all of our passengers are now loaded and we have a gross weight showing just there of 70.1 tonnes. Again, you can cross-reference that against the operational flight plan with your takeoff weight showing at uh, just under 69.9 tonnes. Well, that actually adds up quite nicely because you tend to plan to burn 200 kilograms off in uh, in the taxi. So that is, uh, that's good. The next thing we need to do, though, is we need to go to our init page. We'll just uh, populate that. Uh, by doing the init request that fills in the flight details uh, for our flight but then if we go to the init B page this is where a few people have been caught out with regards to the trim setting of the new aircraft so again I'm just going to populate these automatically so we've got the zero fuel weight we've got the zero fuel weight center of gravity I'm going to ignore the trip wind for now we'll pop in the fuel planning uh, which is block five let's just check that we've got let's call that 5.7 um, and then what we're looking for after that when all of this computes itself there we go if we go to the fuel prediction page the center of gravity is 23.9 now this is the trim setting that you need to set prior to takeoff so in order to do that uh, the default view is uh, control six and that gets you looking at the thrust levers so that uh, that number again is 23.9 and if we just have a look over here what we're trying to do is set that at this white arrow at the moment it's set to between 25 and 30 so you need to use basically just a little rough guess so 23.9 close to 24 is around about uh, around about there you can see the gauge is 20 here 25 just there so perhaps a little closer to 25 than uh, the 20 and it is a rough guess and Airbus say that as long as your trim wheel is set within the green band for takeoff you shouldn't have any issues of course if it is set incorrectly uh, compared to that C of G 
then you may find it either sluggish to take off or you may find it takes off like a rocket depending on how the payload has been set. So that's just a couple of things you need to be aware of following the latest updates from Fly By Wire. Hopefully this should give you a much better and much smoother takeoff. A couple of things to be aware of however, don't set your trim wheel until after your engines have started, that's part of your after start checks and flows. And the other thing to be aware of is because of this difference in the way the load stations and central gravity and all of that has now been uh, changed within the aircraft, the landing may take a little bit of getting used to. You tend to need to flare a little bit more, have a little bit slightly more positive action on that. And again, this just comes with practice. Uh, but if you're not careful, of course, if you over flare, you're still gonna end up floating away. So really practice, practice, practice is the way to master those touchdowns following the, uh, the change to the weights and balance of this aircraft. So there we are. Hopefully this video has solved a couple of problems which have arisen in the last week or so. If you have found this video useful, please do give it a like. And of course, you can also subscribe. And don't forget to turn on that notifications bell so you don't miss any future content and live streams. Thank you so much for watching and I shall see you all again very soon. Bye bye for now.